I think when I look at this lineup, I see you, Brett, Regan, um, those off the top of my head. Yeah. Kuklo even kind of fits okay. into that. Mm -hmm. Are you get excited, guys? What's the thought and opinion from Samsung Dauda about competitor lineup in Arrow Classic 2022? Here we go. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back again in my youtube channel Johan Sagala in the body building podcast session So today, we all already know Sam Tondauda was preparing for Arrot Classic I think he was one day out from Arrot Classic 2022 So let's see and let's hear his opinion As a one of the competitor list in the Arrot Classic lineup What his thought and opinion about another competitors Before we go jump up into it, please click the bell button guys Ring that bell and let's hear Samson Dauda speak up and be honest to all of us. There's some stream, even, I mean, Brandon a little bit bigger, but still. Still streamlined. Streamlined yeah. physiques, and there's a lot of streamlined yeah. physiques. So, where do you think you fit into that mix? You know, do, Justin's a little bit more on the mass side. Yeah. He's kind of got a freak factor yeah. with the wide shoulders. Mm -hmm. and the, So, Max Charles can be dangerous from the fall oh, with yeah. that ab structure. Yeah. So, yep. where do you kind of see yourself? Who do you see Who do you see that you want to be compared with? I mean, well, I was a little, one person I was looking forward to getting compared with Cedric McMillan. That's true. Because we both tall guys and we both had sort of the same structure and everything. I was like, yeah. and obviously, unfortunately, Cedric pulled out of the show. But that was one guy that I've looked up to coming through the ranks and kind of watching yeah. him and watching his structure and going, wow, that's, that's, wow, that's for me, that's just beautiful. Wow, I think Samson Dauda gonna say, I wanna get compared between Brandon because Brandon is the most favorite winner and runner up for Arrow Classic 2022. But he said he want to, you know, sending up and get compared by Cedric McMillan. And I'm really agree. I'm really, you know, pretty much agree with him because the structure that like he said, okay, the pretty much, you know, the aesthetic and the physique that he was have right now have some kind of like the similar physics structure with Cedric McMillan. And I'm really have a recently idea. This is really interesting that Samson Dauda can standing up with Cedric McMillan and get compared with Cedric McMillan. But we already know and heard the news that Cedric McMillan has pulled out from under Rasi. But yeah, the pretty much good idea why I'm not thinking about this before. And I was sort of looking forward to this show because it would have been the first time me and Stefano stayed with him mm -hmm. and seen it and just that matching structure to me. And I'm just looking at that. Yeah, that would have been, you know, yeah. would have been it for me. So, yeah. you know, so I think that as much as it is where Cedric is not coming into the show, I'm basically going to be feeling that spot of, okay, you're the yeah. tall, you're the steady yeah. guy. Yeah. That's your slot to now take it into. So I kind of look at it like that, just smile and just say, look, I know I'm bringing my best. Place me where you place me. Yeah. That's, yeah. you know. But That's really fair if Samson Dauda really had a mind set and have wanna get compared with Cedric McMillan because Cedric is tall guy the same thing like a Samson Dauda and have some kind of like the similar physique they both guys and Sam and almost similar structure that's really really you know interesting and really excited to get compare Samson Dauda versus Cedric McMillan there, there are some storylines like And come on, Samson, we're, we're all body, we're all, oh, yeah. we're all competitors. Yeah. I know there's, oh, yeah, of course. I know there's people you probably see that you're like, like, for example, you and Regan yeah. are one for one. Oh, yes. Right? So <laughs> are you like, this, yeah. this is the rubber match. Oh, like, yeah. Because this one makes it more interesting because obviously me and Regan, we both did our show roughly about this. The last show we did was roughly about the same time. Yeah, yeah. Since then, we're not under the same coach. Yeah. <laughs> it's, been, it's, been, it's been roughly the same months to improve, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the last time we did, we did Prague, and I won Prague. And basically, we've had the same time and the same coach to improve yeah. in that. Yeah. So for me, this is going to be a really he interesting cheated, show. Sam, Regan cheated because he's got beat those <laughs> Like right there with I, don't, I know, yeah. but even then, even so now then, if you like, beat him, it's like, like, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so this is the fun part because I really want to see because I say I know I've improved in that time as well, scale and everything else, but to then bring it together again and then look and go, okay, right. So if you didn't know, guys, okay, Samson Dauda is work and get coached by Milo Sarchev, which is 
one coach which is the same coach with Regan Grimes that Samson Dauda and Regan Grimes have the same coach one coach is a Milo Sarchev and we're gonna see Milo Sarchev the athlete is Samson Dauda and Regan Grimes gonna compete and gonna you know face to face gonna hard battle with Regan Grimes on stage in our classic 2022 so really really get excited right I cannot thinking and I cannot predict it how Milo Sarchev feels like <laughs> But yeah, I think Samson Dauda is really, really the humble guy. He don't want to talk about anything about another competitors. But yeah, I don't want to continue this. Okay, let's continue this. Yeah, we both had the same time off. We both had the same sort of under the same coach and same much why. How much did we both improve? What 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 becomes the package we bring in? So for me, that's one thing I'm excited to see. Yeah. And likewise, even you know, standing next to top guys I've never stood next to before. You know, mm -hmm. never stood next to Brandon, never stood next to uh, Bonac, never stood next to, next to them, Steve. Yeah, yeah. For me, this is something that I really want yeah. to see happen. You know, I really want to know what that. Well, and that, I mean, Justin, for example, was eighth at the Olympia. Yeah. Oh yeah. So for you. I mean, this is bodybuilding math, right? Oh, yeah. You think to yourself, okay, if I can beat Justin, it's that puts me in the top 10 at the Olympia, oh, yeah. right? Statistically, so... Yeah. yeah, that's kind of like the mindset of Samson Dauda, I think, have also in, you know, in a few days ago, or maybe there's a moment and there's a few times that Samson Dauda thinking about that and have the mindset like that because, you know, if you're really already on doing the show, want to get the compete, of course, you're gonna thinking about yourself and you got feels like, I can win the show. I can win in this show. Okay, I can beat and standing up with first winner that most favorite people have some kind of like the predicted who gonna take the title and win the show, right? That's kind of like the mindset of yourself if you really you know want to doing and want to join some show, some competition. So that's a really general and that's really normal things. You know, are those things going through your mind as you're prepping for the last 12 weeks? Are they going, you know what I mean? Of course, man. Not, yeah. 12 weeks. Right from before you even applied yeah. for it, when you saw the list of the lineup, you're like, okay, yeah. there's a lot of heavy hitters in that list, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Where would you place? And then obviously, placing wherever you're doing this show sort of determines your mindset going to Olympia from this point on in terms of, okay, would I guarantee to crack the top 10 in Olympia? Yeah. You know, yeah. how much time and whatever do I need to improve on that thing? So for me, with this show with so many of the guys in there that are top 10 in the Olympia. Yeah. For me, it's like, okay, fun time. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's get to work. Let's see, let's see what happens, you know? So, of course, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, I'm just lucky to be here. I just want to have no, fun. Say, of course. Wow, really good. And, you know, really some kind of like the really, really great statement from Samson Dauda. I think that's the mindset of the competitors and that's the mindset of the people who really, you know, have some kind of like the challenger you know have some kind of like the people who want to battle with yourself so that's a really really interesting statement from samson dauda so now you're having guys okay then a little bit quick samson dauda from two days out and his opinion about another competitors because samson dauda is one of them and yeah hopefully this video can bring the fun and relax time to all of us to enjoy some kind of like the excited because i'm really get excited for our classic 2022 and watch you all guys top prediction i'm already making the video about my prediction and preview in my videos before so yeah you can watch it okay and do you agree with my prediction and i would love to looking forward to okay so thank you so much for watching i'm your host Joan sagala signing out may god bless you all